Hey my lovies, welcome back to my channel. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Violet Voss by Laura Lee palette. Such a beautiful palette, by the way. All right, with that, we're gonna go ahead and take a It Cosmetics All Over Shadow Brush, and we're just gonna go ahead and apply our All Over Lid Color, which is the color Bone. Actually, lying, it's the color Basic. It's a color, kind of like a bone yellow kind of color. Very, very basic. And we're just going to go ahead and swipe that all over our lids. Alright guys, next off we're going to take the color Fried. And I'm going to go ahead and use a different brush. The brush that I'm using is also by IT Cosmetics, but it is the Precision Crease Brush. And I'm going to go ahead and start in the crease and kind of build it up. I kind of like to tilt my head to the side or a little bit more back. It kind of just helps me get a better view of where my crease is. And then I just go ahead and go back and forth in windshield wiper motions. When doing this, it's okay to pack it on because we're going to go in a little bit later and blend it all out. So just keep applying and intensifying it as much as you can, even a little bit more because we're going to blend it out like I said. Next with this fluffy Sonia Kashuk blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and start at the crease and just blend it all out. See how nice and smooth that looks? It just really helps blend it all out nicely. Okay guys, for this part, you want to take any concealer you have. And the trick to this is taking a concealer brush. I feel like concealer brushes, since they have a little bit of a pointy tip to them, it really helps define that line. It makes the line look a lot more smoother, a lot more defined, and I don't know, I really like this. This brush is actually from Wet n Wild. It's a concealer brush. I just love it for looks like this. All right, so once you're done creating the shape that you like, you're gonna go ahead and take any color you'd like. The one that I'm gonna use is the color Fleeky. It's very yellow, kind of copper color. It's super pretty, very bright, and oh my gosh, you guys, it's super pigmented as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a Sonia Kashuk, just regular shadow brush, and just lightly pat that on very carefully. For my eyeliner, I'm taking Kat Von D Trooper, and for my underneath the eye, I'm going to take a small precision brush, and I'm going to go ahead and take the color, let's see, which one did I decide to do? Britches, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that underneath my waterline. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go ahead and snatch the color tickled pink and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that right there beautiful color it really helps just open up the eyes a little bit love it to finish off the eye look I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara on the bottom lashes just for the sake of the video I do have lash extensions on and um, you don't ever want to apply mascara on your lash extensions because it will ruin them and you're just going to create a big mess for your lash technician when you come in and see her for a fill. Trust me. For cheek highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use this baby up. I have not touched her in a long time, but it's the Becca Champagne Pop. And to apply that, I'm going to go ahead and take the Y14 by Morphe. It's that gold gilded collection that I made a video on. And I'm just going to go ahead and literally douse myself in highlighter. Alright guys, that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'd love to have you as part of my family. Also, go ahead and push that little thumb. Give this video a thumbs up for me. I'd really, really appreciate it. And I guess I will talk to you guys in my next video. As always, peace and love. Bye! Mwah. The bristles are super soft. It feels very luxurious. I am just super obsessed with these and I have not used them because I wanted to use them the first time on camera so I could tell you guys what they are like, what they feel like. It's the Y8. I had a feeling that it was gonna be a little too orangey. In person, it doesn't look bad. 
I don't know what it's looking like on camera. I hope it doesn't look bad. But I went with my gut and I went ahead and purchased them. And I'm so, so happy that I did. Again, a lot of the big YouTubers always have discount codes for the Morphe brushes. So I would recommend looking some of those up. I know Amanda has... Amanda Enzing has a coupon code, which is just Amanda. 